Hi everybody, my name is Rian. I am a proud Aboriginal woman, Eastern Aranda and Gara from the Northern Territory, but I've been in WA most of my life. I'd like to continue on. So my parents were Catholic in name but didn't practice. I was constantly bullied as a child for being proud of my Aboriginal roots and was regularly called nasty names. Some of the darkest moments of my life included first being exposed to pornography at the age of nine. I then experienced sexual abuse at the hands of a close family member between the ages of 13 to 17. Entering into adulthood was pure hell for me. I wasn't white enough or black enough to be Indigenous or Caucasian. I was desperate to fit in and to find resolution around my years of sexual abuse. I had no idea of my identity. I tried to remain hidden from everyone and everything. I just wanted to disappear. When I was 25, I first disclosed my childhood abuse to another person, and that was to my mother shortly before her death. I had a very strong bond with my mum. Otherwise, I don't know who else I'd been able to tell. Even today, a decade later, I may never have found freedom from my burning secret. After my mum's death, I just gave up. I needed compassion and tender counsel. I went through a string of deeply abusive relationships, became addicted to drugs, especially to meth, and began to pack on weight as I didn't want to be attractive or appealing. I'm fortunate that for nearly two years, the Christian community has been helping helping me to face my past. I'm learning to invite Jesus into my pain so as to find newness of life. He is teaching me so many new things and especially not to be afraid. Amazingly, Jesus gave me a dream about his mother Mary. I've spent years trying to deal with the grief of my mother's death and suddenly Jesus gives me his perfect mother to walk alongside me to love me and to help me not only to heal but to trust more deeply in God. Today, I'm excited about being received into the Catholic Church and entering into the sacramental life of the body of Jesus. My general well-being is in a good place today. In fact, it has never been stronger. This is thanks to divine therapy and the Holy Spirit working in my life. I would love for others to taste of what I am experiencing. The support I'm receiving from other Catholics and Christians is literally saving my life. We've no idea how many more lives are being saved and might just be saved in the future through the good news of Jesus Christ. Thank you for allowing me to share with you my story. God bless you all.